Hey folks, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and there's some interesting news coming out of CES 2018, the Consumer Electronics Show from DJI. Now, it's a new copter called the Tello. It's not actually made by DJI, but it has DJI components and software technology in it. It also has Intel processing in it for the, the image processing. It's a very unique machine. It's called the Tello. It's made by a company called Rise. So it's a new company that's developing some drone technology. Now some things that really make this copter interesting is that it's a small form factor, kind of like the Spark. It has brushed motors instead of brushless motors. It's not a racing copter. It's not a long range copter. It's just a fun toy. But what really makes it unique is that it uses the Scratch programming language so that you can program it to do different things. Now this is great because Scratch is a programming language that is taught in many, many schools. It was developed by MIT. So it is a standard of sorts that you can use to program the Tello. So we see this as being a great tool for educational use, for schools, for hobbyists, for people who want to get into programming or have a little background in programming and want to see what they can do with a drone. So hopefully this is going to spur a new generation of people who start off with something like Scratch and then go on to develop software using the software development kit. So a little bit more about the Tello. It has a 13 minute flight time. It uses Wi-Fi, so it only has a range of about 100 meters, which is about 300 feet. Now, it's going to be controlled by your phone, but it can also use MiFi controllers with, uh, that connect to your phone and then the phone connects to the copter, the same way you can do with the Spark. So there's some really nice controllers out there, such as GameSir, which actually have a little flip-up clamp so you can put your phone in it, so you can fly it just like you would a Spark or a Mavic using the joystick controls really responsive when we did that with the Spark, made it a whole different beast from just trying to fly with your phone. So if you're gonna check out a Tello, make sure you get a compatible game controller that you can use with it. Now it doesn't have a tiltable gimbal. It has a fixed camera, it has image stabilization, and it's gonna save video at 720p. So again, this isn't gonna be your um, commercial project or uh, for real estate, things like that. This is going to be a fun machine to get selfies, uh, pictures and videos of the kids. The stills are going to be five megapixel instead of 12, like you're seeing on the, the DJI products. Uh, it uses an app from Tello that they developed that has a lot of the same type of features that you'll find in the Go app. It does have VR headset capability, and that just means those headsets that you can slide a phone into. So it's not uh, going to be compatible with the DJI goggles or anything that has HDMI input. It's going to just use your phone. A couple of the major features are going to be auto takeoff and landing, low battery uh, protection, fail safes. So if it loses signal, it'll just land. So you don't want to be losing uh, signal out over a lake because it's just going to land. It's just not going to have a return to home feature. But it does have vision positioning. So indoors or anywhere where you got a good contrast on the floor, it's going to hold its position very well. So that's the benefit that they got by using the DJI flight control systems. Like I said, it's not developed by DJI. It just uses DJI components, Intel components, all put together from this company called Rise. It is going to be for sale through DJI and authorized dealers like ourselves. We already have it up on pre-order on our website. The most interesting thing about the Rise Tello is the price. It retails for $99. So instead of $399 or $999 for a copter, you can get an entry-level copter that's only going to cost you under $100. The batteries are inexpensive. Props are really inexpensive. So it's just going to be a fun machine to play around with, especially if you want to try doing some of the programming with it. So that's the latest news on the Tello from Rise but available through DJI dealers like us at Multicopter Warehouse. If you like these videos, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for all the latest news and information. Make sure you check that little bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new video. 
This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.